Okay guys, so if you ever try to install WordPress on AWS, you know how much of a nightmare this is. It's almost impossible unless you work at Amazon yourself as an engineer because it's not user friendly at all. I mean, if you click on services here, look at the list here. Which one do you choose? Where do you start? Do you start with application integration, business application? Or do you click on front end and web mobile? And even if you do so, you have more options after that. So you really don't know where to start. It's very, very difficult uh, to get there and understand how to install WordPress on AWS. But now they're not the only ones. If you go to Vulture, for example, you know, also the same here. If you go by the side, if you want to install WordPress on any of the servers here, create an instance, where do you start? Do you go to cloud storage, uh, container registry, database, load balancer? Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I, I wouldn't know where to start. And it's the exact same with DigitalOcean as well. So those three here are so not user friendly. You have to be in the know and understand these things and how to deploy applications and so on so it's very difficult it's, it's not for everyone basically okay so today i'm going to show you a solution that will allow you to install wordpress very easily on any of those three platforms on digital ocean aws and vulture so for this we're going to use fly wp so what is it exactly well as you can see here you can you can deploy lightning fast wordpress sites on your own server in minutes and this is the beauty of this system and you can also start for free so as you can see you can click on this button or this one here and create an account and you have 14 days free trial so i've already registered with them so basically i've logged in here and this is the dashboard and the very first step before you can create your new server is to add a provider so what is a provider well that's vulture digital ocean and aws so these are our three providers so i'm going to show you how to add those three providers Feel free to use any of them, okay? So all you have to do is click on this button here, add provider. So we're gonna add a new one. And as you can see, you can select among DigitalOcean, Vulture, AWS, and Akamai as well. I don't know this one personally, I've, I have never tried it, but if you have an Akamai account, you can feel free to do so as well. You can easily add it as well. So let's start with the very first one here. So on the profile name, I'm just gonna put DO Mr. Web, so I know what this is, DigitalOcean Mr. Web. And we need to add an API token. So where do you fetch this? Well, all you have to do is click on this link. So right click, open in a new tab. I'm already logged in into my digital uh, ocean account. And they go here, generate a new token. And let's call this one DO Mr. Web as well. Okay, and the expiration here, 90 days. And then we keep it by default. So generate token. Very good. As you can see, this has been created. And now we can copy and paste this. So basically click on that and then paste it here. Control V. Very good, and then add credential. Very good, so we've added digital ocean. So let's add Vulture next. So add provider, Vulture. And again, I'm gonna put Vulture Mr. Web, and there you go. Now we need the API token. So right click on this, open in a new tab. And again, I'm already logged in into my Vulture account. And there it is. So basically all you have to do is copy this and then paste it here and then add credentials. That's it. So this is how you add Vulture to your FlyWP account. Very good. And now let's add our Amazon Web Services, add provider, AWS. So I'm just going to put here Mr. Web AWS again. And now we need an access key ID and a secret key access as well. And for this, there is no shortcut. So I'm just going to show you how to do so. So I'll go back to your console and you go here into your account and then security credentials. And then from here, you scroll down the page until you find this section here, access keys, and you can create a new one, okay? So let's click on this button here and then say that you understand, okay? Create access key, there it is. And now we can copy this. So this is basically our access key itself. So let's put it here. And then we're gonna fetch the other one, which is the secret access key, and then paste it here, control V, and then add credential. And there you go. So that's done now. We have those three installed. And now we can go back to our dashboard. So let's click on the logo here. So as you can see, step number one is taken care of. And now you can configure Cloudflare if you wanted to, and also add SSH keys. So these are optional steps. So what we're going to do now is to create our server. So create server. And then from here, we're going to select the most difficult one. Okay, so we're going to select AWS. So let's click on this one here. And now we can select our credentials. So Mr. Web AWS. And let's give it a name. So let's say Mr. Web AWS. Uh, type something easy to remember and, and memorable, basically, okay? So we're going to select the region here. So I'm just going to go with the US. It's absolutely fine. And I'm going to get the smallest uh, server here, the cheapest one for now, just for the test. 
And disk size maybe uh, put 50 meg here. That's that's enough, you know, normally to install a WordPress and then create server. And there you go, the installation is taking place. So waiting for the server to power on. So it's gonna do all of these steps for us without anything from our side, basically. You know? So we don't you don't have to know exactly all the steps from AWS themselves. He's doing all the work for us. And when you look at some of those steps, it would be very difficult, you know, like installing Docker. How would you do that on AWS? No idea. Upgrading to pre-installed packages, you know, configuring swap space. How, how do you take care of this yourself on Amazon? It would be almost literally impossible, you know. So again, very nice solution. Very good, so that's done, guys. I can't believe this, you know. If you had to follow all these steps yourself through the Amazon services themselves, this would have been a total nightmare, you know. This has been done in maybe two, three minutes altogether, you know. So if you go back here, as you can see, this is our IP address. And this is Mr. Web AWS. So this is active at the moment. And now we can create our new website. So let's click on this button here. And the first step obviously is to link our domain name. So if you have a domain name registered already, type it here. Otherwise you can use the test domain here, uh, the flywp.xyz uh, domain name. So this is what I'm gonna do here. So I don't have to use an actual domain name. And you can select your version of PHP and it goes from 7.4 to 8.2. So maybe pick a happy medium, the 8.0 version. Uh, which is stable and then next and right here can also enable multi-site so if you if you want to install wordpress multi-site enable this obviously you know otherwise if it's for any usual case scenario just leave it as is and i'm going to type the title here okay so i'm going to put mr web and then again aws and then put your email address and then create your basically your credentials here okay so maybe i'm going to put mr underscore web and we're going to keep this so i'm going to save this somewhere safe okay copy and paste excellent and now we can proceed so next and there you go as you can see it started installing wordpress on our aws server excellent so that's done now so let's have a look at our website so visit site there you go as you can see this is installed so let me zoom in a little bit so this is the 2024 theme as you can see the default one so wordpress is installed on aws and you can also access your admin panel which is basically your url followed by wp admin so there you go now we are logged in and now we can make all the changes that we want and as you can see we just installed wordpress in less than five minutes on aws and i guarantee you there's no way you could achieve that from their own console so how beautiful is this solution it's super handy isn't it now let me show you another few more features and again as you will see this is super user friendly so if you wanted to enable the page caching the fast cgi cache which is available obviously on the amazon web services you can enable this immediately from here all you have to do is tick this box save changes instead of following all the convoluted ways on aws themselves you have the ssl certificate which is enabled by default wp config so this is a very good one as well so let's say if you have an error message on your website normally you have to go and edit the file the wp config.php file and you can do this immediately from here as you can see you can uh, enable debug mode all you have to do is use the toggle switch click save and that's basically it you're done so you don't waste time nothing at all you can also uh, log your errors and display php errors and all that immediately from here instead of adding lines of code in your config php file okay now we have security as well so everything that's related to security is right here so again feel free to uh, enable or disable any of those options you have plugin and theme so what is it going to do here is make sure that all your themes and all your plugins are up to date and if they're not you'll see that immediately from here in the status section so next we have the backup so backups is super important obviously when you run an online business so let's add a new provider here add new one and again as you can see you can select among a few different options including google cloud storage so uh, super handy indeed so let's go back here again and then you have all the logs so we enable this and this is basically where it'll be all recorded so have quick access to all your logs immediately from here as you can see it's empty at the moment and then we have our settings all of these settings are pretty self-explanatory but if you go at the bottom as you can see if you wanted to delete your instance and delete your site you can do so immediately from here and you can also clone your site for staging and testing purposes so again everything is laid out very easy for you straight up from here from the dashboard and you don't have to follow the convoluted way uh, that amazon web services have or even digital ocean or vulture and then you can also create different teams so let's say if you run a web agency or something like this as you can see at the moment we're working on david's team but you can also create a new team all together and the purpose as you can see is to collaborate with others on projects 
So again, you could have maybe different departments within your web agencies. Maybe some are looking after maybe, I don't know, e-commerce, maybe some is WordPress specifically or something like this. You can create the team here and then add uh, users afterwards as well. Now, when it comes to pricing, let's address the pricing as well. Okay, so now we go back to this one here. There you go. So as you can see, this is a lifetime uh, pricing. So we have five servers, 10 servers or 15 servers. So depending on your requirements. So if you were to start with this one here, you get five servers, unlimited sites, which is absolutely great. Now here for the 10 servers, you can also get the site backup, which is an added value, obviously, you know. And then if 15 servers here, let me put myself on the other side and we can see exactly what's happening here. So here you have the site backup, but also bring your team. So this would be the one that you would select. And again, this is a lifetime investment, once off payment, and that's it, you're done. Uh, about $949, that's not expensive, you know. Now, if you want to go on a yearly, same principle basically, but you have to renew every year, and then you have also monthly. So I think the most advantageous here is the lifetime, obviously, you know. Uh, if it was me, I would get this one immediately, $949, and use it for my agency as well, you know. So I think this is the most favorable one and the most advantageous as well. And then once you have registered with them, you can go back to your servers and you can add as many as you want. So you can take care of this for yourself or maybe for your clients as well. So you could have maybe an Amazon Web Services server, maybe one with Digital Ocean, maybe a few with, uh, let's say, Virtual or whichever way you want, depending on the type of website that you're building for your clients as well, you can select any of those different services. So there you go, guys. As you can see, this is quite an amazing solution. And now you can tell everyone that you know how to install WordPress on Amazon Web Services. Now, if you'd like to try Flight WP for yourself, as always, I'll leave all links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.